Offensive drone is ready for deployment. Objective Charlie 2 is under attack. <laughs> What's up everybody? Durek back at it again with another video on World War 3. Yes, we are going back to a game that once burned me on its initial release. Why you might ask? Well, because of two things. One, the game went free to play over the weekend with new content, so that meant more players were going to play the game. So yay, I could finally get into a match. And two, I had heard the developers say that if there was anything that they could fix, it would be the trust between them and the players. So that kind of compelled me to, you know, give them a second shot. Because before its initial bad launch, this was a game that I was anticipating. I was getting tired of EA becoming more predatory and not listening to its fans when it came to Battlefield 5. In my head I was thinking, World War 3 looked like a great alternative to Battlefield 5. I loved the Battlefield franchise, but I had a burning hatred towards EA and I did not want to support them anymore. But oh how naive I was in thinking that indie games always had the answer. But I mean up to that point, indie games have generally been nailing it out of the park, but World War 3 at the time just didn't do that. Because most of the time I was stuck on a loading screen or in matches that barely had anybody. But uh, yeah, that was then and this is now. So what did I think of World War 3 Free Weekend? Well, it's definitely better than what it was. The loading screens are not nearly as long as they used to be they seem to have been significantly decreased which is good that was mine and a lot of people's major issue with the initial launch of the game and they seem to have fixed that issue but that didn't mean that the game was scot-free it didn't have any issues me and the subscriber that i was playing with ran into some issues when we were trying to connect to uh some servers we're at the five minute mark are you trying to join a game <laughs> fucking i don't know nice so first impressions coming back, it's great so far, 10 out of 10. We are off to a great start. We were just clicking on the quick play to try and see if we could just, you know, hop into a server. But that took nearly 10 minutes before we just gave up and looked for a server. <sighs> There's no, like, server browser that we could look at? Yeah, it's on world map. If, and you go to the bottom and there's in green, big, big, black on oh, green oh, server okay, okay, browser. Okay, yes, yes. I guess we'll join that one. Yeah! We're joining, finally! I was able to connect to the one that I found, but the subscriber that I was playing with had trouble. I'm over here, like, playing the game, and he's still sitting there trying to connect to the damn server. Not even my game, it's still loading. So is this game already 10 out of 10 for you? Mm, yeah. 10 out of 10 minus 10. Uh, game of the year? Game of the year? Goat edition? G yeah, goat edition. For sure. Gotti got edition? Got got <laughs> so he didn't want to deal with the game anymore and he just uh, backed out. Here comes this. Uh, na, 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 na. I am still loading in. My game is still. It GTA 5 takes less. Our okay, I'm gonna alt F4 this game. Area. But I'm gonna uninstall it. So I went in by myself. It was very scary. I guess I'm I'm lone wolfing it because people were like, "Hey, why don't you get back into the game and try it out?" <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, "Come on, Dure, be a man. The subscribers are counting on you." No, we're not. You got this. I don't even know who you are. Shut the fuck up. I can't really explain why my subscriber wasn't able to get into the same match as I could, but I guess I'll chalk it up to the developers not accounting for a majority of rigs. That's the one thing that consoles have over PCs is that you know a console is just one thing, and it's the same all across the board. Whereas a PC, it has different components for every rig. At least that's what I think. Maybe it's because they couldn't account for all the rigs. I don't know. Maybe, but I'm not entirely sure. Because I was able to get into a game and play a couple of rounds with no issues. Speaking of which, how was the gameplay? I still think that it holds up after all this time. Killing is my business and business is good. I'm relatively good at World War 3, but from what I understand, the problem never stems from the gameplay itself. From what I hear, it's either optimization or animations. And honestly, the animations never really bothered me. But I know that a lot of people, just judging by the comments, seem to judge the game just 
by its animations. They always say how wonky it is, but again, it, it never really became an issue with me. Like, I didn't really seem to mind the way that it is. But when it comes to optimization, I can feel that the game is having a little bit of trouble in that general area. Oh god, the lag! What the fuck was that? I think it's definitely better than what it was at launch, but they could still use a tune-up because I could feel lags here and there. It's as if they were trying to do s- What the fuck is that? It feels like somebody WANTS TO SELL ME SOMETHING! <laughs> I told you he was on to us! Protect your accounts and help out the channel by going to the affiliate link that's down in the description. There's a deal going on right now where you can get 75% off a 3 year plan that effectively brings it down to $2.99 a month. What a deal. But like I said before, the gameplay was pretty solid for me. I would end up getting lost in the gameplay itself. I think the main problems that I really ran into in the free weekend and what I would like to see fixed is the spawns. Not all of them were bad, but about 25% of spawns had me spawning next to an enemy. The moment that I would move, I would get gunned down. Like they need to make it so that if the enemy gets closer, I spawn a little further away. The second problem that I had, I'm pretty sure I ran into a hacker. At least I think. Because our team was winning, and the guy who I think was hacking, all of a sudden started getting multi-kills. Like, you just see, like, the thing raining down one guy killing our entire team. And he didn't just, like, join the game, and then all of a sudden he was being, like, a badass. No, he was in the game prior to getting a crap ton of kills. And we were winning while he was on the other team. I was trying to hunt him down specifically, but as I was getting close to his location, because I had a UAV on him, or I think that's called a UAV, whatever, he fucking wall-banged me. I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy was a hacker, but it's whatever. Yeah, they, they need to they need to capitalize on that. So that could be a big issue if, uh, you know, that spreads. But overall, I think I had a good time, you know, playing it. But I think for a lot of people, the game is going to be very hit or miss, which is definitely not what the developers of World War 3 wanted. This free weekend was supposed to be a breakout moment for World War 3, but two major problems. One, the free weekend did not see a big player count. If I remember correctly, Steam Charts said that it only garnered around 2,500 players which is not a lot. Maybe if they had kept the game open for more than just a weekend, they could have possibly seen more. And two, the optimization just wasn't there. As you can tell from my subscriber buddy, he wasn't very happy about that. So if he wasn't happy, I can't imagine how other people felt. If we take a look at Steam charts, it looks like it retained the player base that it had before the free weekend happened, which tells me that people just weren't impressed during this free weekend. Because like I said before, during the free weekend, it said that there was around 2,500 500 people playing, but looking at Steam charts now, it dropped back to its original player base. By stark contrast, Insurgency Sandstorm also had a free weekend at the same time. They sold 7,000 copies, holy hell, and their concurrent player base has took a big leap. But getting back to World War 3, in my personal opinion, I think that World War 3's free weekend was very hit or miss. It definitely didn't give a boost that the game really needed, which is kind of a shame. Well, I want to wish the developers the best of luck, because I do enjoy their gameplay, but they just really need to fix, you know, the optimization and all that stuff. But yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye Attack objective A2! Advised. Enemy offensive drone spotted in your AO. Enemies have overrun the Charlie area. Enemy UAV overhead. Area Alpha is under our control. Objective Bravo 1 down. is under attack. Enemy radars are being jammed. Enemies have overrun the Alpha area. Attack Objective Alpha 1! Objective Alpha 2 is under attack. Ah!